Armstrong. Today we are making soup. One of the nicest, warmest soups and one of my favorites too. And it's easy. So let me introduce you to the butternut squash. The butternut squash has a sweet, nutty flavor and it's so easy to cook. The squash is fabulous because it has vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C, potassium, calcium. This squash actually helps build your immune system. All right, I'm also going to be adding uh, potatoes, which we know are really good for raising the serotonin in your brain and making you feel fabulous. I'm going to add one yam. Yam is very high in vitamin A, and it also adds a delicious sweetness to this wonderful mix. I will be adding cinnamon. Cinnamon is an antioxidant. It also helps regulate the blood sugar, lowers cholesterol, and it helps prevent colon cancer. And now we have nutmeg. You know, the Chinese have known about nutmeg for many centuries. They call it an aphrodisiac. So let's load up on that. Nutmeg is also fabulous for being a muscle relaxer. It helps to induce sleep and relax. We all need that. Uh, it's also fabulous as a brain booster. I need that. All right, so let's get cooking. I wanna show you some of the other vegetables that we're going to be adding and how simple this is to make. We're gonna start with two tablespoons full of our virgin olive oil. I'm going to do this just by sight. Okay, this is just to coat the bottom of your pan. We have one medium chopped onion straight in there. <laughs> Getting a little crazy today. We have about uh, half a stalk of celery. Remember, celery is really good for calming your nerves. Okay, I've minced my garlic and I've chopped my carrots and those are going right in the pot as well. So, very low heat. In just about five minutes, just to get all of this blended together. Okay, we've peeled the outside of the squash, making it very easy to cut. And you just want to cut it into chunks like this because you're going to be putting the entire squash right into the soup. Okay, so this has been simmering about five minutes. The garlic smells amazing, as always. I love my garlic. And then we're going to add our vegetables. We have one medium potato, the yam goes right in the pot. And then we're going to add our, our delicious nutty squash, butternut squash, all of it in there. And this is low sodium chicken broth. You can buy this right in the grocery store. It's very inexpensive. And you always want to keep at least one can on hand for a day like today. You want to be able to add enough broth to moisten the vegetables inside. It doesn't have to be a whole can, just enough to keep it moist. And you're going to want this to blend together and boil for about 30 to 40 minutes or until the vegetables are tender. So let's cover this and let it boil. Our soup is boiling. There. Nice and soft. We're going to make this so easy for you. We're going to put this in a blender or your food processor. This is one of the same. You're just going to dump the ingredients that have been softened into this blender. Add your spices and then mix it up and return it to what's left over of the broth. The original pot and then we will cook it for another 10 minutes. So good. Okay. Let's get this baby started.
beautiful that is. That's all whole food. Delicious. Okay, we're gonna pour this back into the pot. We're gonna add our cinnamon and our nutmeg. And we're gonna let this cook for just about another 10 minutes. Now, if it's not soupy enough, you can add some extra chicken broth, but this is the perfect, perfect consistency. This soup has turned out perfectly, and the spices of the nutmeg and the cinnamon, it has just made the whole house smell like fall. Here you go. Whole foods, no preservatives. And a little secret, if tonight is date night, add just a pinch more of your nutmeg. Remember, eat well and be well. I'm Karen Armstrong.